on the first night of Ramadan, the gates of heaven are wide open and the gates of hell are completely closed the devils and the horny jinn are tied in chains of course, it is not over, we are just getting started. There are so many striking issues that you need to hear about the month of Ramadan, the Sultan of eleven months. What the soul does with Allah. You will listen to many more striking events, from incredible speech to how a two-month-old baby fasted of his own free will, to what Ramadan will say when the Day of Judgment comes, to the incredible consequences of fasting on the human brain. So, if you are ready for the mysteries of Ramadan, let us get started Ramadan on the first night of the month, the entire universe becomes filled with an extraordinary aura. The stars are brighter, the winds whisper softer and the animals walk more calmly. The universe is like a living creature and it knows that a special month has begun. Almighty Allah calls out to Ridvan, the leader of the angels who guard the heavens. Ridvan is the most loyal of the angels. He is known as the Eye and is always ready to fulfill the orders of Allah. Ridvan said with great respect. Here I am, at your service. O my Lord, Allah says, prepare and decorate heaven for the fasting believers of the Ummah of Muhammad. Keep the gates of heaven open for them until the end of Ramadan Melek Ridvan knowing that this is an extraordinary opportunity to serve Allah and his beloved Prophet Muhammad, he is filled with joy. They quickly gather a team of angels and start working tirelessly to prepare heaven in the best way. Then Allah calls out to the guardian of hell, I am at your service, my lord, I am ready to fulfill your commands. Malik answers. Allah Almighty orders him to close the gates of hell to the fasting believers of the Ummah of Muhammad and to keep them closed until the end of Ramadan Malik knows that this is a critical task and that he cannot see to it that no one from the Ummah of Muhammad enters hell during Ramadan. He calls Gabriel. Gabriel is the most knowledgeable of the angels and is always eager to serve Allah. Command me, O Allah. He says, Allah Almighty orders him to come down to earth and restrain the rebellious devils so that they do not break the fasts and ifters of the believers of the Ummah of Muhammad. Gabriel orders the devils to fight, especially in the month of Ramadan. He knows that they are waiting for an opportunity to lead the believers astray. He immediately descends to the earth and chains the rebels of the devils, ensuring that they do not interfere with the believers' worship. Allah constantly showers mercy and blessings on His servants during the month of Ramadan. He frees many believers from hell every day. Allah Almighty has a duty in every heaven. There is an angel, coral. One of its wings decorated with pearls and jewels is in the east. The other one is in the west. These angels call out, Is there anyone who repents, whose repentance will be accepted? Is there anyone who prays, whose prayers will be accepted? Is there anyone who has been wronged, will Allah Almighty help him? Is there anyone who asks for forgiveness, will Allah forgive his sin? Is there anyone who has a wish to forgive? Our Lord will grant him what he wants. Allah Almighty calls out to his servants who remember him in the month of Ramadan as follows throughout the whole month, O oh my servants, men and women, good news to you, be patient and continue your worship, soon I will remove the troubles from you and you will receive his mercy God's mercy and blessings. His generosity is so great that he constantly calls out to his servants who remember him, congratulates them and encourages them to be patient and continue their worship. Allah promises that he will eliminate their difficulties and will soon give them his mercy and generosity. On the night of power, the most holy night of the month of Ramadan, Gabriel Elihisalam he descends to the earth with a group of great angels. Allah prays for those who worship and asks for forgiveness. The night of power is a night of great abundance and the believers who spend this night in worship are rewarded with countless blessings from Allah. As a result, on the first night of Ramadan, this is what Allah gave to Ridvan Malik and Gabriel. The commandments are a reminder of the tremendous blessings that our Lord has bestowed on His servants in this special month. Ramadan is the month of worship, patience and devotion, and those who spend it in remembrance of Allah are given Allah's mercy and forgiveness. So what is the month of Ramadan? Let us go into a little more detail about the event. To understand this, first of all, its emergence. In other words, we need to go to the time of the first human, Prophet Adam Yes, fasting was first observed by Prophet Adam and continued to change in different cultures over time, from the ancestor of humanity to the present day. Today, 
Just as we Muslims fast, fasting is performed in different ways in many different belief systems. For example, Christians usually fast during the lymph period, which begins on Wednesday and ends on Easter Sunday. They choose to abstain from certain foods or activities in order to reflect on their faith and prepare for the resurrection of Jesus. In Judaism, fasting occurs several times throughout the year. One of the most important fasts in Judaism is John Kipp, also known as the Day of Atonement. They fast for 25 hours to atone for their sins and ask for forgiveness. In Hinduism, there are different types of fasts for different purposes. Some fast to seek blessings from a particular god they believe in, while others fast as a form of penance or to purify the mind and body fasting and abstinence are found in many cultures, from ancient Greece to the Aztecs, in many parts of the world, from Mesopotamia to China. Some of them were based only on medical purposes, but most of them were based on spiritual purposes. Fasting is the most basic worship based on body control. In some cultures, kings fasted before they came to the throne, Hinduism. In ancient times and in Judaism, we come across the tradition of the bride and groom fasting before the wedding. According to the narration, Prophet Moses and Prophet Jesus fasted for forty days, unlike what we do today. According to information we learn from Hadith sources, Prophet David spent one day without fasting. Our Prophet Muhammad fasted for forty days. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was initially fasting on the day of Ashura and three days every month since his migration to Medina. Later, in the second year of the Hijra, that is, in the first months of the year 624, the verses stating that fasting was obligatory for all Muslims were revealed, and after a while, it was stated that the obligatory fast would be observed in the month of Ramadan. Before Muslims were lightened with the verse of the Quran, unlike today, we were fasting at nights, that is, in the beginning, fasting started when we went to sleep at night, and we were fasting until the evening the next day. After an incident, verse 187 of the Surah al-Baqarah came and the full-day fast of Muslims was lightened. The incident that took place during the daytime in Ramadan is as follows. When a companion, who was working in a date garden and engaged in irrigation, returned home, he fell asleep before breaking his fast. He continued fasting the next day without eating anything because he could not wake up during the night. When our Prophet encountered him and asked, What is happening? I see that you are extremely exhausted, the companion explained his situation. Here is the situation after ifter after this incident. A verse was revealed stating that there is freedom for the time until dawn. Thus, we now have the time of Sahar compared to the past so why do we fast and why do we starve ourselves? One of the important reasons for this is to discipline our souls. After Allah Almighty created the human soul, He called it nafs. Islamic belief tells us that we have to do some work on our soul, that we are obliged to educate and restrain it in some way. This is a situation that we have to fulfill both for our Lord and for ourselves, because we have to do some work on our soul. There are so many things we can gain if we can have a say in the human soul. One of the most difficult issues for the human soul is the one related to the act of eating and drinking. There is a very impressive narration about the soul's fight against hunger. An event that takes place between God and the soul God Almighty puts the soul first. When He creates it, it asks it like this, Who are you, who am I? The soul answers this question like this, You are you, I am mine. The soul has not given up on the answer that you are you and I am me. It replies to Allah Almighty as punishment for another thousand years, and when it asks again, it gets the same answer again. It seems that the soul has not come to its senses even by being thrown into the fire. This time, as a punishment, Allah only starves it for three days and asks it at the end of the three days, Who are you, who am I? The soul replies wearily. You are Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and I am a helpless soul. As can be seen, the fasting soul is the self. It is the easiest way to discipline our souls by fasting. What kind of benefit does it have in this world, in addition to the advantages it will bring to us after death, when we discipline our souls by fasting? Incredible changes occur in the brains of people who do not have any health problems and fast according to the rules or starve in accordance with their body.
Actually, this is the reason why many people today are extremely unhappy, they get bored of everything very quickly, they have problems focusing on a job they do, and it is a major obstacle to achieving success. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in the reward and motivation pathways in the brain, eating TikTok it is responsible for the feeling of pleasure and satisfaction we get from activities such as browsing websites such as Instagram and many social activities. Engaging in enjoyable activities creates an increase in the dopamine levels in our brain, allowing us to enjoy it, but after a while, the brain gets used to this situation and starts to want more. In this case, the brain produces its own dopamine. Instead, we need external factors that provide dopamine easily, to which we have become addicted, and after a while, the behaviors we do begin to not give us as much pleasure as before, and actions such as studying and going to work turn into torture. To give you a simple example, we used to watch a movie or watch what was broadcast on television channels. Until now, we used to wait for days or months, or we had to rent the tapes and watch them. Today, we can instantly access any movie we want on the internet. But even though it is so easy, we no longer get the same taste as we did from the movies we watched in the past. In fact, most of the time, we end up giving up watching movies as a comment before we can make a choice among hundreds of movies. Because our brains are designed this way, or those who are on a diet know very well that, when they eat again a food that they could not eat for a long time, they get more pleasure than ever before. It is also useful to remember that our prophet, peace be upon him, left the table without being full. However, recent research has shown that dopamine plays an important role in regulating hunger and the response to fasting. One of the most surprising effects is an increase in dopamine levels. Studies have shown that fasting can lead to a significant increase in dopamine production in the brain, especially in reward pathways. This increase in dopamine levels leads to a feeling of effort and increased focus, making it easier to stay on task and achieve goals. Another way fasting affects the brain is through brain-derived neurotropic effects. Factor production BDNF is a protein that plays a key role in the growth and maintenance of neurons and the brain studies have shown that fasting can lead to an increase in BDNF levels, which can improve cognitive function and protect against neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Fasting has also been shown to have a positive effect on mood and mental health. Increase in dopamine levels While it can lead to a feeling of well-being and a decrease in stress, an increase in VDNF levels can improve mood and reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. In other words, the act of eating in general is a situation that needs to be kept under a certain balance in many respects. Fasting helps us empathize with people who have limited access to food and drink in their situation. Fasting, which is explained by science today and has countless benefits, has survived from our ancestor Adam to the present day, and is even mentioned in the Holy Quran, and is considered one of the five basic conditions of Islam. It is an action that he is obliged to implement. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, explained an incident that happened to a young man who did not fast on the Day of Judgment as follows. At the time of judgment, I will come to the scales and stand at the head of the scales. I will intercede on behalf of my Ummah so that their good deeds are heavy. At that time, the angels will bring a young man from my Ummah to the scales. The young man will hug me and say, O oh Muhammad, I took refuge in you. I will ask the angels. What are the sins of this young man? The angels will say, O oh Muhammad, this young man neither stopped his sins nor repented even though he reached Ramadan. Before he could repent, Allah Almighty suddenly took his life. Then I asked my Lord not to send this young man to hell. I will ask Allah Almighty, Habibi, I will forgive this young man. But he will say that he has a plaintiff. Who is his plaintiff? When I ask for Razi, Allah Hutila will say that his plaintiff is the month of Ramadan. At that moment, there is nothing I can do. If the month of Ramadan is a plaintiff against whomever, I cannot say anything about it. Yes, fasting. There are many remarkable hadiths about it, for example, have you ever heard the story of the baby who fasted while in the cradle? A mother tells that her baby started to show some miracles when he was only two to three months old. Her son was only a few months old. The holy month of Ramadan had come. The first day was the whole day from dawn to sunset. He did not breastfeed at all. 
when the same situation happened again on the second day, I realized that my baby was fasting. In the second year, towards the end of the month of Shaban, people could not see the bear because the weather was too cloudy. Therefore, they could not determine the start date of Ramadan. Those who know this virtue of my baby immediately came to me and asked if he was breastfeeding. They asked, indeed, he had not been breastfeeding since dawn that day. Then it was understood that that day was the first day of Ramadan. The person who narrated these events was none other than the mother of His Excellency Abdulkader Gailani. Another incident related to fasting is from the experience of Prophet Abu Bakr Hazrat Abu Bakr in the evening of a day when he was fasting during a scorching summer, there was only a bowl of cold water on the iftar table. When the time came for iftar, he brought it to his mouth as he shouted to break his fast. However, after he did this, he put the glass back down and then he burst into sobs. Those around him could not make sense of Abu Bakr's situation. When Abu Bakr came to his senses, they asked why he suddenly started sobbing. Hazrat Abu Bakr answered as follows, One day, the Messenger of Allah was making strange movements with his hand while he was sitting, as if there was someone in front of him, telling him to go away. So I asked him, The Messenger of Allah makes movements as if they push your hand away. What did this mean? He replied, The world came to me, it wanted to make me accept myself, I said go, you can't make me accept you, after I objected, the world replied, I swear to you. Even if you run away from me, those after you will not be able to get rid of me, I will make them accept me. Hazrat Abu Bakr, it's time for Iftar. While he was bringing the glass to his mouth, this incident came to his mind. While drinking this cold water, he started to cry, wondering if he was one of those who accepted the world, even though it was after time, even the water he put to his mouth made him emotional like this. Isn't it enough to be thankful?